welcome back team now let's get ready for phase two of cargo planning calculations today we'll be looking at tpc which is tons per centimeter immersion now this is a metric tonnage which when loaded or discharged will cause the draft of a vessel to change by one centimeter. However, we must first address the area of the water plane of the vessel. So let's look at this water plane area. The water plane area of a vessel is a surface defined by the water line of the vessel. Let us call it the footprint, and it is equal to the length times the beam or breadth times CW, water plane coefficient. The length, the beam, and the water plane coefficient. Now, this gives us the footprint of the vessel on the surface of the water. Now, let us look at the following to see what this looks like. This figure shows the area of the vessel that the vessel really occupies in terms of the length and the beam. Although it does not physically occupy all of it. No, this is because of the curvature of the vessel, which leads to the water plane coefficient CW. This water plane coefficient is the ratio of the actual area of the water plane to the product of the length and the breadth of the ship. Now let us do an example. The following question reads, the length of a vessel is 85 meters. The breadth is 21. And the water plane coefficient, CW, is 0 0.73. What is the area of the vessel's water plane? The solution. Based on the formula, AW equal L times B times CW, we can just substitute the information that was given into this formula, where the length is 85 meters, the breadth or beam is 21 meters, and the water plane coefficient CW is 0 0.73. This gives us 1,303.05 square meters. Sometime we might want to find the water plane coefficient. And so we can transpose in the formula and we get water plane coefficient CW is equal to length times breadth. Now let's try an example. We're going to try an example with this. So we are given the following, that the length of a vessel is 163 meters, the breadth is 47, and the water plane area is 4,383 square meters. What is the vessel's water plane coefficient, CW? Now we would have transposed to the formula where we have made CW the subject, where CW is equal to AW divided by L times B. That means CW would be equal to AW, which is 4,383, divided by L, which is length, 163, and B, which is breadth, 47. 
that gives us 4,383 divided by 7,661. Square meters will eliminate square meters, and so we will get 0 0.57. As you know, CW doesn't have a unit. Now let us look at TPC the formula. Again, with the TPC is def defined usually a vessel floating in salt water can be in other relative densities because CP TPC is defined for the specific draft change of one centimeter, then its unit is going to be in tons because it is going to take some weight that is going to cause the vessel to move by one centimeter, the draft of the vessel. So now let us look at this formula. Since AW is equal to length times breadth times CW, and TPC is equal to density times AW times 0 0.01, which is one centimeter converted to meters, since everything in the formula is a meter, then the TPC formula reads density times CW times L times B times 0 0.01. Where AW, water plane area, square meters, density is the density of the actual water in tons per cubic meters, and the one centimeter immersion, we have converted it to meters, which is equal to 0 0.01 meters. Let's look at an example. The question reads, suppose a vessel is being loaded in a seawater port where the water density is 1.025 tons per cubic meters. The water plane coefficient is CW and is equal to 0.9. The length of the vessel at the waterline L is 67 meters. The beam of the vessel at the waterline B is 11 meters. Find the TPC. Now, solution. Since TPC is equal to density times CW times length times beam times 0 0.01, then substituting the given information, that would equal to 1.025 times 0 0.9 times 67 times 11 times 0 0.01. That gives us 6.8 tons. That simply means that it takes 6.8 tons on this particular vessel to move its draft by one centimeter in either direction. If you are loading, it is going to increase the draft by that one centimeter. And if you are discharging, it is going to reduce or decrease the draft by that one centimeter. Now, TPC is very significant and it is used quite frequently and we will be using it a lot as we go along in our calculation. So please pay special attention to it and ensure that you fully understand it. Again, thank you for joining me today. And so I'm going to ask you to do what you do best. Subscribe, like, and share. Catch you for phase three, coming up in short order.